About 70 million people in the United States suffer from sleep disorders every year. So that means if the entire US population is 329.5 million, 21% of those people are having a hard time falling asleep. That's a serious problem. So let's try to fix that. First thing you can do to optimize your sleep is to work out first thing in the morning. Studies have shown that early exercisers spend the most time in the deepest, most anabolic stages of sleep versus people who exercise later on in the day. And here's the cool part for all of you that are like, bro, I ain't waking up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym and work out for an hour and a half. No, you don't even have to. You actually only have to work out five minutes. That's the crazy part, five minutes. And you will actually gain the same benefits as somebody that goes to the gym for an hour and a half. So you can literally jump Jump up and down in your room, walk around your house, do a little high intensity training session for five minutes. It does is it creates a short term adrenaline response, which will improve your sleep rhythms and it tells your body to create more melatonin earlier on in the evening. And it's also going to significantly improve your mood. Second thing is to keep your damn devices out of your room at least two hours before bed. But if you can't help but to be on your phone right before bedtime, at least put it on night mode or wear blue light blocking glasses because any blue light exposure before bedtime is going to suppress your melatonin production thus not making you very tired. Third thing is creating an optimal room temperature for you to fall asleep. The best bedroom temperature for a comfortable sleep is approximately 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18.3 degrees Celsius. So really anywhere between 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit is going to be the best and the most comfortable for you to fall asleep. Fourth thing is to stick to a sleep schedule. This is really difficult for a lot of people, but this is probably one of the most important things actually. You wanna make sure that you're going to bed at the same time every night and waking up at the same time every day because we are creatures of habit and it's really difficult for people to keep adjusting their sleep patterns. It takes a toll on your body. So one of the best pieces of advice I can give you is literally set an alarm for your bedtime. I know you set an alarm for when you wake up. Not many people set an alarm for their bedtime. And this is just going to ensure that you're not like staying up too late and being like, oh, I was distracted. So now I'm going to bed. Oh, it's like 11 p.m. now. And I was trying to go to bed at eight. <laughs> so you won't have an excuse. And that is going to make sure that you're going to go to bed at the same time every day. Fifth thing is to drink an absolutely massive energy drink right before bedtime. This is probably the best thing that you can do to get, <laughs> I'm fucking around. <laughs> Obviously, caffeine is not something you wanna be taking before bed, so you actually wanna cut off your caffeine and take at least eight hours before bedtime because that's how long it can stay in your system for. So if you wanna go to bed at 10 p.m., you should be cutting off your caffeine and take before two because having it later than that is going to block your production of the hormones that you need to sleep. And number six is to relax before bedtime. Have a consistent wind down routine that you start at the same time every night so that your body prepares for sleep. Take a bath, read a book, listen to some soft music, do whatever makes you feel at peace, but make sure that you do this every night so it gets your body prepared to absolutely have some amazing wet dreams. <laughs> and the seventh thing is to get some sunlight. Daylight is imperative to maintaining regular sleep patterns. So if you can try to get outside at least 30 minutes throughout the day, this is going to significantly improve your energy throughout the day and it's going to help you fall asleep later on. I know it's difficult. I spend most of my time here in the basement where I get no light whatsoever. So I try every single day to get out for at least 30 minutes. So guys, I've just cured insomnia. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya!